This episode of Man of Prestige, age in a process that will help you renew your mindset and renew your strength. Remember that guy when you were a lot younger and you didn't know any better? You haven't experienced your first heartbreak? That's the person you want to get back to and you want to find the balance between that and the knowledge that you have today. Because if you don't do that, we're human beings, we're spirits, we have energy, we carry a tremendous amount of energy, you're going to project all of that on even a wife. You wouldn't know how to recognize one when you find one. It's more of a heart and it's a science. It's not an exact science. So you can't afford to run around town quoting all kind of different statistics, talking about one out of black, four black women we ever marry. If you say things like that, you're going to project that on wives. when You, you won't be able to recognize a wife when you find one. So you want to calm down with that. How do you do that? Focus on your mindset. Renew your mindset. The reason why I'm saying that is because I understand that like the rest of us like all right how to find a wife you want a wife you want to find a wife okay so why do i qualify to share this with you well i found a wife about 14 years ago from this point of recording this video and um you know but first of all what is a wife all right you know uh the scriptures talk about he who finds a wife finds you know a good thing right uh, some versions, I think, says he who finds a good wife. Bottom line is that there's a certain type of woman that, that, that qualified to be called a wife, right? Not every woman is a wife. Sadly, a lot less and a lot, lot less and less, less amount of people are becoming less of a wife uh, because of the dynamics that's changing in the society that we live in. You heard what I just said. I didn't blame that on women. There's a dynamic, there's a transition that's going on. There's something that's changing, right? And it is what it is. And if you're looking for a wife in this uh, environment, it is what it is. Life is not fair. Remember that. A man of prestige understands that life is not, isn't fair, right? But we understand that this is a game. The social constructs, the society we live in, it's a game. It's not a joke that your best chances of getting what you want aka in this situation a wife is to learn how to play the game learn the rules learn the unwritten rules and you should be fine most people what happens is that things happen to them you know, there are three types of people i learned that from one of my mentors a long time ago there's a person that that that, that says that that there's a person that things happen to there's a person that makes things happen i hope that's what you are and there's a person that says, what happened, <laughs> right? And most people are going to be in the what happened category, right? And um, I want to reassure you that if you follow the three tips I'm about to share with you, you should be fine. I'm going to give you one bonus tip at the end of it, so make sure you stick around to the end. Number one, purpose, okay? A wife, like wives, women that are wives, they follow purpose, they follow vision, right? They follow a man who is on a mission, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, yes, that's precisely what they follow. They don't necessarily, they're not, they're, they're typically not people that are necessarily looking to, but however, they get scooped up really fast. At the age of 25, 26, 27, it could be a little bit later than that. Some of them, maybe they've gone through a divorce situation. Some of them, maybe they've uh, had a situation where they are now uh, a widow or some sort. Maybe they lost a spouse. But also, they tend to not last. They, they get scooped up really fast because they're also very socially skilled and they, they know how to attract the right men. Okay? So, uh, especially in this environment, again, there's a shortage of wife. It is what it is. Uh, but I say that very lightly because there's also abundance of wife if you're the right guy, okay? Uh, if you're hanging around the right set of people, people that are moving in the direction you want to move, there's also abundance of wives. But if you are being an average man out here and you don't find a way to the top 5% of men in this society in terms of social skills, emotional skills, and not just money skills, not just learning how to get to the bag, I'm sorry, there are, way, there are way too many people that have gotten to the bag and they have a hard time attracting a wife. They have a good time. By the way, they, 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 they're, all, they're very good at attracting a, a bunch of girls, but attracting a wife is trouble for them. And even when they see a wife, they don't necessarily know how to recognize one because they've had such a terrible 
um, vast exp experience in a a engaging with the wrong type of when I say wrong I mean that lightly no disrespect I said like not non wives right they have experience engaging with non wives but uh, when they engage a wife if a little if a wife shows a little bit of masculine energy they don't know how to recognize that beyond just the surface they get reactive they get very defensive they make noise they yell at the top of their lungs in the name of being an alpha and then they lose it because nobody wants to hang out with a nasty person okay even though yes nice guys finish last still girls would never admit to wanting to be with a bad somebody on the surface that's just extremely terrible in social skills they're nasty they're the narcissist they're somebody that comes off that way you don't have to be that if you come off that way you're going to repel wives right and you're gonna just say it's gonna be a sorry situation it's gonna be too late right so with that being said being on a purpose is something that attracts wives the other thing is your mindset everything I just described is basically your mindset you got to re re reshape your mindset you got to renew your mind whatever experiences you've gone through right and if they're bad I'm sorry they're bad but you got to keep an open mind here because if you don't keep an open mind you're gonna reflect on everything around you with that negative mindset if you have terrible experiences from engaging with certain type of ladies in the past you're gonna project that on every lady you find so you want to make sure that you engage in a process that will help you renew your mindset and renew your strength remember that guy when you were a lot younger and you didn't know any better you haven't experienced your first heartbreak that's the person you want to get back to and you want to find the balance between that and the knowledge that you have today because if you don't do that we're human beings we're spirits we have energy we carry a tremendous amount of energy you're gonna project all of that on even a wife you wouldn't know how to recognize one when you find one it's more of a heart and it's a science it's not an exact science so you can't afford to run around town quoting all kind of different statistics talking about one out of black four black women we ever marry if you say things like that you're gonna project that on wives when you you won't be able to recognize a wife when you find one so you want to calm down with that how do you do that focus on your mindset renew your mindset the reason why I'm saying that is because I understand that like the rest of us like the, we, we bring our experiences to the table and we project that on everyone everything else and that's something you definitely want to watch out for right the last first but not the list thing you want to focus on is attraction Attraction is uh, also a function of feelings, right? Uh, it's, it's social social skills goes into this. Emotional intelligence goes into this, right? And um, you know, it's very easy to run with the rhetoric that respect, duty, all those kind of things. While those things are still very, very important in long-term relationships, attraction is going to play a major key in attracting a wife. Okay. Uh, listen, you're not going to interview your way all the way to you find a wife. That's not how it's going to work. We got to go back to what I said when you were innocent and find the balance between that and having the knowledge that you have, uh, aka the experiences that you may have had, that's not necessarily ple pleasant, right? So we want to find that balance. Attraction is a key part of this. You're going to attract. In terms of attraction between you and a nice young lady or any lady of any age to be frank i don't subscribe that they have to be young i don't subscribe to that it's bs okay any absolutes are bs just keep that in mind what you attract is what you attract you you are probably going to attract who you are okay like i said from the beginning purpose if you're on a mission you're going to attract a wife if you're not attracting wives it's time to look in the mirror there's a way you're moving okay uh, um let's say we're wrong that it's not because of how you move at the very minimum you don't want to leave any stones unturned you want to make sure that you pinpoint that you figure out what is going on there and make sure that it's not you possibly maybe it's not you right but then maybe you can at least make sure that you're not leaving a massive blind spot it's not right and wrong it's not black and white it's not because you're evil it's not because you're a bad person it's because we're social beings right and sometimes we just can't see what we can't see sometimes we don't know what we don't know right and your personality uh, your temperament all these different things how you move the energy you bring to the table when you meet a young lady when you ask very innocent questions how does it come off on the other end right things like that are things that you want to pay attention to 
and you will either repel or you will attract wives and believe it or not there are wives out here it's just a matter of are you gonna attract wife okay so here's my last tip for you it's a bonus tip and I want to keep you at the back of your mind I gave you some of the internal things you have to work on but here's something physical uh, real life stuff facts over feeling things you should work on right where are you hanging out right some people argue you still can't find a wife in church can you fi find a wife in a religious place like honestly all of those questions uh, once you start to ask this kind of questions it's, it's troublesome okay but what I can tell you is that there is still if you're being genuine there's still certain type of places a class when you're taking a study you go to a networking event where people are actually moving in the positive direction yes and church and places like this where people can see out of eye where um, where ladies that don't have social awkward situations can actually engage a person uh, these are the kind of places you want to start hanging out so you may want to start paying attention also be open to family and friends they may know somebody that, know, that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody here's the key thing here I understand that everyone wants to do the natural thing right but when you become a man of a certain age you have to be open it, it, it's not about the particular maybe church or where just keep an open mind keep an open mind okay uh, when you learn how to keep an open mind you also attract joy you attract bliss you attract love and you actually enjoy life doing that okay so hopefully if you have any specific question I kind of like uh, a few things that are said in there even much more than three right but um, if you have any specific question feel free to ask in the comment area cheers